Good afternoon. Um, we all know it's been a, a harsh winter, and for many, it's been harsher uh, than for others. In, in my uh, hometown of uh, Illinois, I had a uh, round table in January. I met a, a young mother who, after looking for a job all day, goes home, makes dinner, and gets into bed with her two young children under the covers because she's had to choose whether to pay for her rent or heat. I met another woman at the round table who is depleting her children's education account to make ends meet while looking for a job. The failure to pass unemployment insurance has affected over 2 million families since January 1st. In my state alone, it's over 116,000 people who have lost their unemployment insurance. Partisanship and gridlock has hurt millions of families and is estimated will cost the economy 240,000 jobs this year alone. The failure to pass unemployment insurance is hurting families, it's hurting businesses and communities, it's hurting our economy. That's why today I have introduced a discharge petition to bring to the floor a vote on unemployment insurance. Too many people are suffering as the economy is trying to get back on its feet, having lost unemployment insurance, hurting communities, hurting families. The failure to bring this is a failure to re reflect the needs of these people. I am working hard to bring this vote to, to the floor so that we can represent their interests. It is an issue is long overdue. I am proud to do this. The people in our communities, our constituents, deserve better. They deserve a vote. Thank you very much. Javier Becerra, Chairman of the Democratic Caucus. This game of shutdown politics that our Republican colleagues are engaging in is leading this Congress to become the most successful at being a do-nothing Congress. And so we saw it on October 1st when Republicans in the House of Representatives shut down our government, left 800,000 Americans without the ability to go to work, cost the economy $24 billion. We saw it on December 28th when Republicans shut down the effort to pass unemployment insurance for all those long-term unemployed. And today over 2 million Americans are waiting we saw when we, as Democrats, submitted our discharge petition for the minimum wage, where now over 194 Democrats have signed on to that discharge petition to finally give those Americans uh, a raise, those who work at the minimum wage. If the 36 Republicans who have voted for a minimum wage increase in the past, who are still in this House of Representatives, were to vote as they have in the past, we could increase the wage of millions of Americans finally giving them the raise they deserve. And so now we see on long-term emergency unemployment, Republicans continue to shut down the ability of Americans to get their relief. We're saying it's time. A discharge petition will prove who really wants to help the American people. Stop the shutdown politics. Let's get things done. This should be a year of action in Congress. Congressman Joe Crowley, Vice Chair of the Democratic Caucus. 2 million Americans, 180,000 New Yorkers, 200,000 returning veterans. 200,000 returning veterans who are trying to ease their way back into the workforce. Those are the people we're talking about who need unemployment insurance extension. I want to thank my colleagues, uh, Dan uh, Kildee, uh, as well as uh, Tammy Duckworth, Duckworth for leading this letter, signed by one over 160 members of the Democratic Caucus asking our speaker to act now on an unemployment insurance extension. What they say in the letter, you can, you cannot, you can no longer ignore them. And you can no longer ignore them. That's what this letter says. Now, the speaker can tell us he's not going to do it. We're kind of used to that around here. But tell that to the returning 200,000 veterans, those men and women, those heroes who have fought for their country, coming back now, trying to ease themselves back into the workforce. Tell them you're not going to extend unemployment insurance. With that, uh, Mr. Levin. Hi, Sandy Levin from Michigan. The failure to act on unemployment insurance for the long term cost the national economy in January and February $3 billion. But I want to talk about the 2 million plus people out in the cold because of the failure to act here in Washington. And I'd like to get into the shoes of two of the two plus million. This is a Craigslist ad from Denver, and I quote, family heirloom, professionally appraised at $895. Family quilt that needs to be sold, 
laid off, unemployment not extended, resorting to selling personal items. And this one from Vermont, and with some emotion I'll take this off. I need to sell my gorgeous wedding set. Paid $4,500. Need to sell for $2,000 to pay bills. Both engagement ring and wedding band have one th and three-eighths carats each. I hate to get rid of it, but without the unemployment extension, everything must go. Everything must go. People work for their unemployment insurance. We need to act. Terry, I guess you're next. Terry Sewell, Selma, Alabama. Uh, today, it is important for us and important for me uh, to join with my Democratic colleagues in calling for a vote for the extension of the unemployment insurance. Now more than ever do our constituents need this help. I'd like to address the fact that so many women, and because of women and single head of households, so many women are going without. And because they're going without, their children are going without. And when women's uh, earnings is diminished, it is clearly uh, affects the family and affects our children. In fact, the fact of the matter is that 37% of the unemployed, long-term unemployed, are women. That number is growing. Uh, and in my state of Alabama, uh, we have 20,000 folks that are affected by the un not being able to extend unemployment. And of that, 10,000 children are affected. Uh, one of my constituents wrote a very daring letter that I'd like to share parts of. Last month, a constituent wrote, I search for work all I can, and now I have no gas money to continue my search. We need relief now. Our plea is simple. My constituent story is the story of many constituents. We want a vote on the House floor to extend unemployment benefits, and we want it now. Thank you very much. I'm very honored to stand with uh, Whip Hoyer and Leader uh, Clyburn uh, as we salute Brad Schneider for his leadership in issuing this discharge, filing this discharge petition. Uh, right after we finish speaking, which will be in a moment, we'll go to the floor and uh, oh, well over 100 of our, me our members will immediately sign the discharge petition. And that will hopefully be a signal to the people out there who are suffering. Think of this number. Two million, two million people cut off from unemployment insurance. Think of their children, their families, their inability to put food on the table, in fact, their inability to even stay in their homes. So this is about our country. Think of the women who are losing unemployment insurance in great numbers, our veterans, our economy, the strength of our country. So thank you, Brad Schneider, for your leadership. And I thank my colleagues who have spoken on the subject and all who will join us. When they put their name down on this discharge petition, it will be a signature of hope to all the people out there who are looking to this Congress to do the right thing. Do the right thing, Mr. Speaker. Give us a vote. Now, Mr. Hoyer and Mr. Clyburn will lead us uh, to the floor of the House. Madam Leader, do you